Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss thermal expansion. Before going into the topic, we should know what is expansion. To understand what is expansion, let us consider a rod of certain length L. When there is a positive change in the length of this rod, that is if the rod is of L and there is a change delta L in this rod, this is known as expansion. Here we are discussing thermal expansion. It means that this change in length that is delta L is due to heat. We all know that all the three states of matter that is solid, liquid and gaseous expands when they are heated. Now let us know in deep what actually thermal expansion is. Basically thermal expansion is depends upon the molecular theory of atoms. For easy understanding let us consider forces between neighboring atoms. Assume they are connected by springs which is easy to expand rather than compression. These atoms are always in vibrating state. When heat is supplied to solid the vibration of atoms increases and the distance between these atoms also increases which results in expansion of solid. Have you ever wondered why there is a gap between a rail of railway track? It is to save rail when it is subjected to heat. Because we know that solid expands when they are heated. In summer due to high temperatures the rail may expand. If there is no gap between two successive rails, those two rails will merge into single one and they become like this. To avoid these kind of accidents, there is a gap left between two rails of railway track. The expansion in solids is divided into three subcategories that is linear expansion, superficial expansion and volumetric expansion. Let us discuss all three topics. To understand what actually linear expansion is, let us consider a rod of certain length L. If this rod is subjected to heat, there is increase in the vibrations of intermolecular atoms, which results in the expansion of this rod, that is this rod expands due to heat. It is important to know what is the change in the length of a rod. To know what is actually change in the length of the rod that is if this rod is of certain length L and there is a change in temperature that is delta T. There is a change in the length of rod L that is delta L. Now we can say that delta L is proportional to change in temperature and original length of rod. To remove this proportional we have to introduce a proportionality constant. Here we are introducing alpha which is known as coefficient of linear expansion. Now moving further let us discuss superficial expansion. For that let us consider a rectangular block of height h and length l and width b. If there is a change in any two dimensions of this block due to heat then it is known as superficial thermal expansion. Suppose this rectangular block is subjected to heat and there is a change in length and change in height of this block. This type of expansion is known as superficial expansion. Here change in area is directly proportional to change in temperature and original area. That is delta A is proportional to A and delta T. To remove this proportional, we have to introduce a constant. Here we are introducing beta that is coefficient of superficial expansion. This type of expansion is known as superficial expansion. Now moving further, volumetric expansion. For that, let us consider the same block. If this block is subjected to heat, if there is a change in the total volume of a block, that is there is change in length breadth and height change is in all the three dimensions. This type of expansion is known as volumetric expansion. Here delta V that is change in volume is directly proportional to original volume and change in 
temperature. To remove proportional, we have to introduce a constant. Here we are introducing gamma, which is known as coefficient of volumetric expansion. In further videos, we will be discussing the remaining topics. Please stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video will be uploaded. Thanks for watching.